Welcome to the Referee training video on scorekeeping. In scorekeeping, the score sheet is the official document used to notate each point scored and the end of a service rotation on the game activity line. Scorekeeping uses forward slashes, backslashes, and a vertical line. Each mark has a specific purpose. The server clip determines the slash marks. A forward slash denotes points scored from the first server. A backslash denotes points scored from the second server. The vertical line denotes the end of a service rotation and is referred to as the side out mark. The side out mark is put on the right side of the last scored point. If no point is scored on the first service rotation, the side out mark is put between the zero and the one. Make sure the side out mark is highly visible as this aids in calling the score and with point reconstruction. It is not necessary to make multiple side out marks if a team did not win any points in their service rotation. A side out mark results in the removal of the server clip and the rotation of the clipboard. The clamp must point towards the new serving team's end. No mark is made on the score sheet when there is a change from first server to second server. For singles matches, points are marked with a forward slash. Okay, let's start recording some points and side outs. First, locate the X under serve for the serving team. Team 1 serves first. The score to start the match is 002. Notice the server clip's diagonal is a backslash and positioned over the circle player's name. Let's say Team 1 wins the rally. To record a point won by the second server, a backslash is marked over the 1. Team 1 wins the next rally. Since the server clip is still second server, a backslash is marked over the two. Let's say team one loses the next rally. To record the side out, a vertical line is marked on the right side of the last point scored. The side out mark is between the two and the three. The server clip is removed and the clipboard is rotated 180 degrees. The clamp faces the new serving team's end. To position the server clip, always locate the number to the left of the last side out mark. If the number is even, the server clip with one facing up is positioned over the circle player's name. If odd, it is positioned over the non-circle player's name. In this case, Team 2 has yet to serve. There is no side out mark. However, Team 2's score is zero, an even number. The server clip with one facing up is positioned over the circle player's name. Notice the server's clip's diagonal is a forward slash. Let's say Team 2 wins the rally. To record a point won by the first server, a forward slash is marked over the 1. Team 2 wins the next two rallies. A forward slash is marked over the 2 and over the 3. Let's say Team 2 loses the next rally. The server clip is removed. The number 2 facing up is repositioned over the non-circle player's name. Notice the service clip's diagonal is a backslash. Team 2 wins the next two rallies. To record the points, a backslash is marked over the 4 and over the 5. Let's say Team 2 loses the next rally. To record the side out, a vertical line is marked on the right side of the last point scored. The side out mark is between the 5 and the 6. As a learning tool to correctly position the server clip, on a side out, write even number under the circle player's name and odd number under the non-circle player's name. This ends the scorekeeping portion of this video series. Practice is essential to success.